It's a story we hear every day. Forests destroyed. Oceans overfished. And the atmosphere polluted. The story of paradise lost. We've changed the face of the earth. We've even changed the climate. It's time we changed. This is the story of Arosha, a story of change, transformation, restoration, and hope. Arosha is an international conservation organization that's working to show God's love for all creation. We are committed to environmental action through community-based conservation projects. From helping landowners in France turn their fields back to the original wetlands that once welcomed wildlife, and protecting the Alvor estuary in the south of Portugal with its rich biodiversity, to saving one of the last forests of the African coast, bringing income to desperately poor local villages. Arosha has grown over the last two decades into a global family of projects working on five continents. Underlying all we do is our biblical faith in a living God who made the world, loves it, and entrusts it to the care of human society. It's why we're passionate about what we do. It's why what we are has always been somewhat unique in both the conservation and Christian worlds. What we were trying to do in Portugal in 1983 at the very beginning was to give a practical expression to two convictions. The first was that it's a completely normal part of the Christian life to care for God's creation, even if that whole emphasis has rather gone missing from how we understand it to be. But also within the environmental movement, values, beliefs, why we do conservation work has not been talked about very much, although it's actually fundamental. And we wanted to bring that discussion to the foreground, but also to show in practice what Christian convictions would mean if you put them into a working context. Thank you for each person here. Amen. 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 We're now seeing tremendous possibilities for Arosha developing worldwide. And one particular thing is exciting us, and that is that often where you find biodiversity hotspots, and those are relatively small areas on the planet, you sometimes find major concentrations of Christians as well. And we're looking at those overlap areas, those highly strategic places, where if the Christian church gains a vision for really understanding the need and the responsibility to care for creation, there could be enormous impact for good. In conservation terms, Arosha's vision is quite wide, really, because it's to see ecosystems restored, but it's also to see the well-being of those human communities that are dependent upon them. So you're talking about restoration ecology, but at the same time, you're sometimes talking about developmental economics or sustainability. It's a very wide vision. Environmental degradation and climate change hurt poor people the most. There's a misconception that investing in conservation is contrary to investing in people's livelihoods, that it's a luxury. But the idea that you need to get rich first, then worry about your environment, is not only untrue, it's dangerous. The fact is, the majority of the poorest people in the majority of the poorest countries continue to depend heavily on natural resources. However, experts have confirmed that 60% of the world's ecosystems are degraded or unsustainably used. This has direct impact on the livelihoods of the poor. They concluded, if we want to cut in half the number of people living in extreme poverty and meet the Millennium Development Goals, to reduce poverty, hunger and disease by 2015, the world's natural resources need to be managed sustainably. The poor are really more poor in the context of the degraded ecosystem. Arosha is working to not leave people 
in such conditions. In terms of allowing people to be really happy, to live in a very stable ecosystem. In that sense, Arusha is, I think, working at the foundation of the poverty. The foundation is the spiritual one and, and the environmental one. The rural poor depend directly on the natural resource base. This is where the pharmacy is, this is where the local supermarket is, this is, in fact, their fuel station, it is their power company, it is their water company. What would happen to you if these things were removed from your local neighborhood? Sustainable development is very important for the population. And uh, when Arosha is working for biodiversity and when Arosha is working against the deforestation, Arosha is really fighting against poverty. We cannot separate the taking care of the earth and taking care of so many people who are so poor in, in the world. All over the world, Christians are waking up to their urgent responsibility to care for God's beleaguered creation. The challenge is to all of us. Time is running out. <laughs>